all you're doing is you're rubbing elbows and you're holding hands with, with your brother, Pastor Coleman and, and Brad and Stoney and all these other people that are in this room that would stand behind you if something were to come against you un, un, unlawfully, okay? So with that, I'll go ahead and take a seat, but I just wanted to share that much. And if you have questions, feel free to address me, okay? Thank you very much. You know, officially, at least from the, the national point of view, this ambassador program was, was um, killed or whatever. Anyway, uh, we're all our ambassadors right. uh, for this, and we do need somebody to go around travel the state because I know in work I used to do uh, in political activity, we we're needing people. We needed to travel, so we appreciate Monty and all he does. All right, next is uh, Secretary of State Carla Barchi, Secretary of State Report. <laughs> Just really quick, I wanted to thank the eight or nine people that uh, gave their feedback last time. It amazed me that all eight of them were more or less requests for role playing for auto accident confrontations. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on some stuff for a presentation for that next time. I'm not sure if it should be during the meeting or after because it will be a little bit longer, but yet I still think we can kind of condense it. Because it, um, the requests were for role playing, obviously I'm going to need more people by my, you know, besides myself. So if some of you want to volunteer for that, um, talk to me after and we'll get that going for next time. Also, I would like to work on um, having a bring your friend night uh, to get more people here and get the Republic growing. I, I think that's very, very important for us to keep doing what we're doing. And that's all I have right now. Thank you. That, that's good. I've, I've heard the same thing. We need role plays. But that was for traffic accidents, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's also, driving matters. Yeah, driving Just traffic, traffic. Traveling. Traveling. Traveling, traffic stops. traveling matters. Uh, I've heard uh, a lot of people want us to do mock court situations too. Yeah. And also because Secretary of State deals a lot with commerce, um, and that would be on a bigger level, whereas with you guys it's more individual, but it's, it's still dealing with commerce. And so I'm trying to apply that on an individual as well as a large, uh, larger scale as all, also. Didn't know if you're done Did you or not. Yeah, so, so repeat that please. Okay, Secretary of State at large deals with commerce. Um, so I'm working on being prepared for that for when big things come up, but also um, preparing you guys for the individual level, whether you're dealing with a court, whether you're dealing with a traffic officer at a stop, whatever it may be, whether you're dealing with a public school, it's all commerce. So I'm trying to get things prepared to, for us to know how to handle that being on the outside. Very good. That's Yes. Should we try to get a, a de facto judge in here to school us on this over this time? No. <laughs> <laughs> he might school us the wrong way. <laughs> uh, uh, let me just add to that. Uh, it is very important that we. Uh, okay, here's I was taught this years ago. People who are confident in what they do, they're confident because they know what they're doing. And how do they get to where they know it? They learn it or they experience it. You learn from experience or from study. And I guarantee you, when you've actually done something, <clears throat> that's what gives you confidence. Even if you learn the hard way, you know, riding a bicycle, learning to ride a bicycle, you fall a few times, but you keep on getting up when you fall. Pretty soon, you, you get the hang of it, and you're not scared of falling. You've already fallen a few times. You're not scared of that. So uh, it, it's really a benefit and a blessing, I think, for, and that's, I love this. Uh, Carla was at a court case Monday, Tuesday? I'm always in court cases. Well, <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but, <laughs> but I mean, for someone else. Uh, but we're starting to see more people show up for court cases, and that's great because you get to number one, you see what goes on before their case comes up, and if you want to stay longer afterwards. And the more you know how they are going to operate, the less butterflies you'll have. Um, so uh, I think that's uh, so role playing will be a, a, a way to help minimize that and get some experience. So 
All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Carla. Uh, let's see. Next on the agenda, I think, is old business. Um, except I want to make one other thing that uh, Stoney asked regarding Treasury report. That is, he uh, wanted me to just put a plug in. We need donations. There's things that we can do and could do and should do, but we need more money. And so if you can, it's just a matter of forgetting. We're not trying to ask you to get more. We're just, if you forget, it's just a reminder. Uh, sometimes I forget, but I try to, I have actually budgeted amount of money. I've been doing this ever since my involvement in politics. I have a certain percentage of, of what I get every week or month, uh, month, monthly amount. I take a certain percentage and I give that for to be spent on uh, republic matters or you know political action of some kind. So uh, I would highly recommend you do something like that uh, instead of how you feel about it. Just d determine and then discipline yourself and budget, I think, is a great way to do it. So don't forget to donate. And uh, I think, um, is someone out there, uh, Kirna, can you hear, or Brenda? Yeah. Can you hear out there? Okay. Our regular donation box is out there, right? That's not a different yes. box? No, it's our regular. What's that? Yeah, that's the regular donation. That's the one you're... Okay, very good. We weren't sure if that was the jury one or what. So I'm glad to know if I uh, put something in and want to make sure it was the right thing. Okay, old business. Update on Republic IDs. Brad Lucek, Representative Lucek, will give us a report on that. Hello, everybody. Hey, Brad. Hey, pretty, pretty cool place. <laughs> Um, Republic IDs, uh, we have a meeting coming up here soon. We have to decide on what date it is, but the, uh, we're to kind of finalize some things on that. Um, uh, I'm pretty confident we'll have something here soon, um, a system. We just really need to uh, identify the content and come to agreement. We have Coconino, Yavapai, Maricopa County, and Pima involved in this uh, process. Um, so there's that. Um, uh, I wanted to actually do a little other tidbit here that I think people need to be reminded because I've been talking with people and there's a lot of things going on in the Republic and all types of questions are asked. Um, but I want to, I for some of the new people that are here or anybody here that needs to hear this, um, I've been involved <laughs> in the Republic for a while now, but uh, before then, um, and I think this connects with a lot of you. you I saw, saw us a system that was not working well. And I'm not talking about this two-party back and forth stuff. I was talking about a system that's not working. And I felt that it was time I had to do something. Instead of yelling at the TV, I needed to do something. <laughs> and so I got involved locally um, in a lot of different ways. And I think um, when I saw... I actually uh, ran as precinct committeeman in 96 and uh, held that position for a while. I got to see how um, the system works. Um, I realized that you know this is it's just so messed up. And at the time, um, the Republic came about <laughs> and did a lot of research and I've been involved since. Um, Hal and I actually have a joke, which he's here to hear it, that him and I, I want to share with you guys that we always say. I got involved with the Republic when I called Hal and I asked him, hey, I need to read, I need to read these documents that you served to the governors. I want to see these. Who are you guys? Who do you think you guys are to serve the governors? So I come in there, I'm like, let me read them. And I read them, I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. And we started talking, and I've been involved with the Republic ever since. <laughs> and so every once in a while. <laughs> Every once in a while, I, I go to Hal and we're doing these assembly things or we're getting involved with some big project and I go, Hal, this is the line I always give, Hal, I just came to, I just wanted to read the documents. That's all. <laughs> you know, but here I am. <laughs> How did this happen? But it, it, it happened for a reason. And we know that. Um, I, I run into a lot of Tea Party people out there and there's a lot of talk about they want to change the system. But there's a lot of talk. It reminds me of when I, how I was. There's a lot of talk, and you can protest and get out there and try to educate the masses, but you're not fully informed about what's wrong. And I think these people, every one of you in here, 
is actually wanting to do something, not sit in front of the TV, not go and yell and hold signs, no, do something. That's what everybody in this room is here. Everybody in the Republic is here. You gotta remember that. There's all types of disinformation here all the time about all types of stuff. One of the other things you gotta keep in balance is your gut. What does your gut say? There's logic and there's the gut. It's a little theory I have. But what does your instincts tell you? And there's some faith there as well. And you need to remember that when you hear all this stuff. Okay? Okay. Um, do you guys have any questions as far as the IDs? Anything that requests of any kind um, that has come up that we haven't touched on in the last meetings? Yeah. Yes. Did you find out? Speak up. Can't hear you. I'll have to hold on to so you can go back and forth, Brad, I think, unless you understand. Well, anyway, the, the question is simple. When, when, uh, Brad, when, when Brad brought the IDs up in front of Congress this past Congress session, uh, I had a question at that time at the table. Don't you have to have a driver's license in order to have insurance? And how City would find out the answer to that? Was that ever... I guess Carla has a some to add to that. No. I got Speak one up. with my right to travel card. What they do is instead of putting you a U.S. citizen, they put you as I think a foreigner. But yeah, I did. Okay. Well, tell us about it. They're not going to die. They're not going to deny you your money. <laughs> They're going to find a way to accept yeah. payment. Yeah, yeah I did. Where did you get your right to travel? I need it. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah, testing this book. If you guys will go to Pinal County, the recorder's office, and type in my name, there are some really, really good documents there with all kinds of court cases. And if you will study those, you will educate yourself big time on the right to travel. And as far as insurance goes, I did get it on my right to travel card through progressive insurance, through just a normal. Uh, do you, have, sure do you have the plates? You know? Yeah, yes, I have plates. Regular plates? Yes. But not the, not the it's registration? Not the E dot. No, I don't have the A dot. The U dot. U dot, sorry. Yeah. Not yet. The, the reason I even put, brought the question before Congress was I, I am un, under the understanding that we have to rescind our driver's license in order to have that idea. Is that correct or no? No. No? no. It's no? no. Okay. All right. Thank I'll you. add to that. All right. Thank you. Yeah, there's... They will look it up. you got to be careful. You really do need to rescind this. Well, there's going to be discussion on that. Um, there's some research on that point. Uh, one of the things that's being discussed in the committee... Yeah, research point. Yeah. Um, one of the points that's being discussed in the committee regarding travel wards specifically is that um, whether we should ask or require somebody to rescind their driver's license, their uh, vehicle registration, um, the insurance form, and no, before they get their travel warrant, so that we know they did their due diligence, since now Republican Rivers is on that ID. And that's one of the discussions we have to have. I don't know yet. What I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, but since we do have some newbies here, perhaps you should open up that umbrella so they understand what it is that, that would what protection that would give us if yeah. we had those ideas. Well the 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 uh, basic explanation is that we have had driver's licenses from Arizona, depending whatever state you're in, and there's an adhesion contract behind that. Um, and you're contracting to follow and abide by all those statutes behind all the law, all these statute laws that are out there. But you can't, you want to add to this? Um, hold on. Um, you can't impede anybody's <coughs> right to travel. But you know what? Michael is so much well versed in this with his research. I'd love for him to explain it. <laughs> I've just got a favorite quote from the Bible that I'm going to defer to on this. You cannot serve two masters unless you love one and despise the other. So if you want to join the Republic and be free, rescind all your contracts with the de facto and claim your rights. But if you don't fight for your right, you don't have it. 
It's just like exercising your body. If you don't exercise, it gets weak. Eventually it goes away. So if you want to write to travel, I know you one have thing to read your driver license. What if I nobody else is just very strong here except me? You can't get your you can't get over the counter drugs that need to be signed for without an Arizona driver license. Yeah, you have an ID. Passport. Yeah, you can do it with a passport, so, but but the intent, don't like the, it. The, the intent the intent of the act travel warrant specifically specifically the travel warrant is to have another form to show that you're not driving, which is if you look it up in law, in Black's law, driving means something in law. Look it up in Black's law book. In dictionary. I don't, I don't know that word. And, and so traveling is something different. It's all about words, and especially in law. Is the Arizona travel warrant supposed to be, is there going to be, a, is there going to be two like there was before? Or is it just yeah, there's going to be two. There's going to be a normal ID and then a travel warrant here in Arizona. And we're putting that together. Now there's going to be a system. There's, there's a couple things. Let's say, for example, we have our IDs ready to go. You can start ordering tomorrow, right? There's one miss, very mi important part that's not part of that ID yet, but soon. And that is nation status. Now remember, and especially for new people in here, that we re-inhabited the original republic that the founding fathers had started. Right now, we're in a de facto system. We re restored that republic lawfully. There's a lawful process of doing that, and we have done that. Okay, that's what these Tea Party people don't realize. And all these people that are in front of their TVs right now complaining, they have no idea that this has been done, November 2010. Um, and so, when we document and file paperwork, and there's a process with that, at The Hague, that when we, this has happened, we will have official nation status, and that's important, because it's a jurisdictional thing now. Not only is the ID, an ID showing that you're part of a republic that has different jurisdiction than de facto, okay? And that's important. Right now, that doesn't exist yet, so really it's just a piece of, a card with your name and a picture that on the back, they can call, they're gonna call, be able to call 800 number and validate it. But when we get nation status, they'll actually be able to type in the ID number and they will know what jurisdiction you're in right away. Okay? And that's a lot different. It'll be more powerful. We're not waiting. We're, we're not waiting for that. Yeah. You, got, you got some questions over here, Brad. She, oh, okay. Okay. okay, questions? Well, can you speak up? Forced. No, I don't want the money. It forced me to come up here, but I'm just going to ask that point, quick question. Because it's being recorded, it'd be good if you could make sure you're heard. Yeah. I don't like to speak. You don't have to hold it or anything. No, yeah, thank just you. Just so we can hear you. All right. Just ignore us there. The question is how okay. soon can we anticipate getting these IDs? But you brought up a lot of thoughts because, yes. as some of you may know, I was. Um, cited with uh, criminal charges, and I was asked for an ID. I, I provided my U.S. passport, but the point brought up by the police officer wasn't, doesn't this, why are you presenting ID that, that indicates you're a U.S. citizen to me? So, mm -hmm. good point. Yes. I don't really want to provide a U.S. passport. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's a couple of so, suggestions. So One. My, my, ang my, not my angst, but my mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that I very much are want excited. to get that ID, and yes. certainly Carla brought up a point. I could do it on my own. And, yes. Um, there's a couple. There's a couple of people here have done, made their own. Um, we have a process that we have to go through through committee to vet all these issues out. But if you really need an ID, um, there's a couple of people you can talk to here. Carla, Rod, you know, the, Rod McDowell. Uh, he had, the, we, we, you can get an ID soon tomorrow. And uh, there's, that's possible. So uh, as far as us, the only difference is it's going to say Republic of Arizona on there, and it's going to have a 800 number behind it to validate it. So there's some extra things so there. What's the timeline? I guess so, that's the bottom line. It's up to the committee. Brenda, what's the timeline to get our IDs? 
<laughs> That's not you saying that. <laughs> we get some soon. It's dependent, isn't it, upon the, or getting nation, nation status? No, no, no. We can have IDs before nation status. It's just that we, the committee, has to come to a unanimous uh, decision on what we're going to have on those IDs, and we're very close. You get stopped with the IDs, so they're not going to call that. They want to be able to type it into that computer. Well, just so you know, I have talked to officers, and they will, but maybe some won't. Uh, it was said here that they might have validated by calling 800 number. Some will, some won't. I have talked to officers myself about this, and they will. If they need to. Sometimes they can. Okay. What's um, the timeline got, on the nation? Question. Oh. Uh, Sorry, Robert. I thought you were bringing her along. Okay. Yes, Robert. Yes. No. Give him the mic. Give him the mic. All right, I have a couple of specific questions. Arizona is, am I right in understanding that Arizona is establishing their own set of IDs for those members in the Republic in Arizona that will be cross-checked against a phone number here in Arizona? Is that correct? That is correct. My second question is the process of rescinding of contracts, driver's license, birth certificate, marriage certificate, voter ID, whatever else. To what degree are you anticipating that process going? In other words, can a person get an ID even though they have uh, contracts with the de facto? Uh, do you care? Is it going to be a problem? Um, that's my first question. Okay. That was about uh, three. There was yeah, several there, but the um, yes to the first bunch more. The first question. <laughs> um, as far as that issue, that is something that's been in discussion. Should we require somebody to rescind all those contracts? In my opinion, yes, because as Republic for Arizona on there, it's, it's our name on there. Um, I think we should, but there's some people that have said, you know what? We should let that up to the individual. I don't know. There's a responsibility. Is that decision going to be made at the next meeting you guys have? Yeah, we're going to have to talk about it now. So if you want some input from the people here? Yeah, oh yeah, not getting input, please. I, I think I think it should be rescinded because they can get in a lot of trouble if they have rescinded them. Yes. And, and if we're giving, if we're issuing them, then the onus is on us to show them how to rescind them. That's correct. That's that's my take on it. Well, Did I, everybody hear that? No. No? Could you get in the mic just to... I'm sorry, what did I say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About rescinding and what you, that you should be required. I just think that it should be required because a person, if they haven't rescinded them and they're using a travel ID, it can get you in a lot of trouble because they still own you. Yeah. You still have a contract. And, and so I think as soon as they're available, the onus needs to be on us if you want one. We need to help you do the documentation to send it to, to rescind at least the travel stuff. No, or driving stuff. We don't care yeah. whether you rescind your marriage yeah. and whatnot, but the driver's mm -hmm. license and registration. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl? Keep in mind the driver's license is the all capital. It's not you. But yeah. There is a difference. One is in commerce, one is driving, one is required. The other one's not. That's traveling. You're right. But it's going to, you know, unless you're driving a truck or something, an 18-wheeler, it's going to be to your advantage to, um, to cancel the driver's license contract, to cancel that contract. You would be kind of foolish not to. But you got to know how to handle yourself. And part of the role playing that I'm going to do, a lot of it's going to be an education on Supreme Court law and stuff that's gone before so that you have a firm understanding of what a right means of what travel means, of what driving means, and what everything else means, and I'll, I'll we'll go into all of that. So, thank you. Thank you. How well, that your pet? Let's give the back, mic back to Robert. Session, she's asking some like questions. Saturday session or something. No, just... So my next question then is: Okay, we are looking to launch as a state to um, stand up for our rights in our state against the de facto. And as yet, we're still developing enforcement. The president talked about on the last, on one of his last calls, 
Powell, it was probably two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, when we talked about Article 7 courts and how we're not ready yet to stand up and challenge Article 7 in Article 7 courts because we don't have enforcement behind us on a national level. So my, my question is, as I know you're involved with uh, Rick on a national level and where IDs are on a national level, is it something that we are advocating to launch it at a state level first and then have national? Or is there some synchrony that has to go on in that regard? Particularly because, uh, if I can just give a for, for instance of why, Really? Ron Sherman <laughs> called me. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Ron Sherman called me uh, last night. He's in, maybe he was in Tennessee or something like that, coming back from the east. And he got stopped with his DOT plates, US DOT plates. And uh, the cops had him, he and his wife, on the side of the road for like two hours. And so there was a whole non-recognition, and well, you have to have it on both sides of your vehicle, and well, how can you have your, you know, so he charged him with four different charges about the USDOT T plate. He's very patient about the whole thing, and I just asked him, well, why don't you just say, well, am I free to go? Am I free to go? Finally, it was because his wife had to go that he got released a bit. Um, <laughs> but anyway, sorry. <laughs> so my, so what I'm saying here is this is really pretty significant in terms of what we're talking about. And I know everybody's about, you know, chomping at the bit to get uh, an ID. And so the whole idea of rescinding a contract is fundamental. Education of it is primary. I think we'd be creating suicide if we try to have people just have an ID, because they're going to brandish them like, stay away from me, I'm in the Republic. You know, that, that's just going to get nowhere. Well, oh, Robert, to talk add about to that, the national, if you would. To add to that, uh, mm -hmm. here in Arizona, in my opinion, I'm a representative of a few. But it, personally, for me, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think we should have IDs until we have nation status. Exactly. But that doesn't mean that my opinion should dictate that when the people, we, the people need them. you know, yeah. So the people are asking that. So, in my opinion, we should wait. But the people have said they want. Them. So that's why we're moving forward with it. Uh, we had a motion in a couple of assemblies ago to form a committee to start a process of doing that. Um, but yes, I agree with every point you said, the education, the contracts, we need to educate people about that, the responsibility of that. So your committee, you have a state committee, but that committee is not just representatives and senators, correct? That's no, they're just the people, people from the body politic? From the body politic. Body politic. Now on a national level, is there also a committee evaluating um, yes. ID in the Senate or the House? Um, yes. There is, and that's Rick Weiner and myself and well, Rick's in the chairman. Yeah, it's true. There isn't a committee. There is not. No. So can I, as a member of the body politic, request you, as a representative for Arizona, to bring that to the floor of the House? Yes. We'll just and see if we can get a, a subcommittee on it or something, because there's a huge number of steps in my in, in my sense of it. Oh. Of let's let's be required. You made a motion. Let's vote on it. So he means to the Congress. Uh, uh, I mean to well, to I mean, national. Well, Congress. Does everybody agree with that? Because we already have a committee in Arizona. The committee well, is already it, taken care of. Is it appropriate for me to make a motion in the assembly? Yeah, it'd be fair maybe in the assembly to make a motion on that. Okay. Well, yeah, I would so make. So it's not just Robert. That that's the business? body. Point of order. Point of order. That's true. Yes. Yeah, is it? You tell me. Let me clarify. Yeah. Because we already have a committee here in the state, you know, Brenda, you, right? Yes. So he's not wanting that. He's wanting to know if you would bring to the floor of the House, the national, you know, sure. when we have our Tuesday night uh, House uh, Congress okay. meetings. And, a, and that I agree with up you. there. But just to, to be have fair, what does the rails think? Is that what everybody wants to do well, as well? I mean, I, I agree with you, yes. He's, at, he's asking you as a representative if you would do that. Sure. sure. Yeah, it's just well, a request. Yeah, sure. Maybe I mean, you don't need I could do it next time. Because the emotions have to do with the Maricopa County. This is Maricopa no, County. No, no, no. <laughs> would you like to well, show I would just like to, I would just like to propose, so I, I would like to propose a motion. If it's seconded, great, and voted on, great. If it's kicked down, fine. I would like to make a motion as, as. But point order, is it new business? No, this is old business. Okay, okay, just checking. 
Sorry. This is on IDs. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's current. Is. It's germane exactly to the topic. That was fine. I'd like to make a motion that uh, you as a representative or whichever representative for our state who feels capable of it uh, brings a motion to national, to general government, to establish a ID and traveler um, committee, subcommittee, to take through the process so that we have consensus and through our legislators of what it's going to take to, to safely navigate the steps we need to assert um, our sovereignty. Okay. I second that. I, I want to make a point of order, I think, because a motion is to move a body. So I don't know that we can do a motion to move the Maricopa County Assembly to do that, but everybody has a right to request a representative oh. to move Congress to do it. So can I so amend I, that I order? I see what you're saying. No, yeah. I see what you're saying. So I would amend that order to say I move as a body that we request our representatives to uh, make a motion in Congress to develop a subcommittee for IDs and develop a protocol. I'd like to make a friendly amendment to that to let the uh, Secretary of State who deals in commerce make the motion of national. Well, no one said it's in the motion. So. Yeah. A second. Um, I, have a, I have a question, if I may. Uh, I well, we have just a minute. We have a motion. Just going through the formalities. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a discussion. I second the motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need a second. I'll second it. Okay, second by Tom Westbrook. Okay. All right. Any discussion? Any discussion? No. Yeah. Make your, make your, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Carla has a point here. Okay. Now, now is the time for you. Yeah. Okay. Just a point of order. Robert made a motion to have someone from this group make a motion to national. But that was his motion. And that motion was was okay as a motion. <coughs> All due respect, I'm confused now. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's good to go. Huh? Okay. So, restating my motion was. Well, the someone has to be somebody in the house. It has to be somebody. I am motioning our body, our Arizona Assembly, Maricopa County Assembly move our representative to approach Congress and establish a subcommittee for ID. So it moves it forward, because right now it's just talk. It's in the hands of, of uh, Brad and uh, of Rick Weiner, and which, is, which are, in those capacities, are uh, general government people. In other words, uh, Rick is, is part of the cabinet. Yes, but the people's represent, if I can, if I can the understanding is that is Brad and Pastor Coleman and uh, Stoney are our representatives from our state. They are who take the desire of the people and make it happen. And I, as myself being a member of the president's cabinet, I have part of the executive branch. That's my function is to help him facilitate stuff. But for you all to make this happen, to make it possible to actually have IDs and it to be backed up and supported on a national level with a, with a call-in number. Part of what I started to tell you about uh, Ron, Ron was that they touched it in their computer. There's two things that the police do, and I am not familiar with it, but those of you who are can explain it. They either check on their local level. A city cop can check on their local level, and they have access to a certain database. A state cop has a uh, can punch in a different database and they get an access to a more national uh, range uh, or something like that. And he asked the policeman, did you check your something button, secure safe, button? Safer? Safe. Safer button, uh, thank you. Did you check your safer button? The guy didn't answer him. So he's on the side of the road for two hours. What I'm saying by this is there's real protocols out there that are in place. We are a peaceable body. We are, we're peaceable in how we want to implement and roll out the republic. We're not a bunch of yahoos who are trying to free, you know, um, run in a disorganized manner. So the steps 
if it's done through Congress, in my opinion, is going to give us this, this, the, the proper protocols for us to roll out in a way that is orderly, is powerful, and that will really give us the ability to say, thank you very much, you know, I'm in the Indian nation, leave me alone, or something like that. Okay. I yield. Okay. Uh, come yeah, motion on the floor. Yeah, we do have a motion on the floor. And we got a second. And we, but, and we need yeah. to see, right. there, There's some confusion here because now you're saying his original motion was good, but we've got a second on the second motion. So yeah. there's some confusion here, and that's why I made the point of order that as a body, I do not see how we can make a motion for Congress to do something. We can just we share our representatives. You can go to any representative and ask, hey, would you present to Congress, right. yeah. National Congress, this? Right. I don't see how a local body can can vote for. Yeah, it's not it's not their jurisdiction. So, so we can just request. Okay, a request to show of hands, maybe. Yes. So how about that? Yeah. Yeah. Show of hands. We, you know, but how about this? Before, it's let's it's take like care. a resolution. A resolution is something anybody can do to yeah. try to influence somebody. <laughs> but uh, I don't think so. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> No, the people cannot go to Congress to make a motion. Their representatives no, can. That's exactly Because they are in Congress. They walk, means Congress means to walk together. They're the ones that are chosen to walk together. His motion was to move the body yes. to go and make a request of the, of the le legislator Correct. To, right. to do this thing. And, and I'm saying he can do that, but I'm saying what's the point? He just voiced the request to well, just yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a formal request right. that okay. compels so him that would be a, because right. he has the whole Maricopa County oh, body. Yeah, yeah, so force him to do it. Okay. No, no. <laughs> well, just a minute. Just a minute. If I, if I may do sure. one more second here. Let's get clear, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get clear on what we're doing here. Brad Lucek, Pastor Coleman, Stony Wall are our elected rep. Monty Wells. Who else in here is uh, elected official? Art Cepeda. Art Cepeda. Doran. Doran. Doug, Doran. Doug Crater, Speaker of the House. Doug Crater, Speaker. So there's a number here. These are our elected officials, okay? In America today, the body doesn't compel their their leadership to do squat. They don't they don't compel them to do squat. They vote them, and then they go about their lives. And the, and the rep representatives are in there doing what the heck they want. I'm suggesting in this little exercise here that we all agree that we want our representatives specifically to act on this point on our behalf. We're saying we really want this bad enough that this is what we want you to do. You don't have an option not to do it because this is what we want. Now what happens in Congress and if it goes anywhere, that's, that's to happen with the rest of the states. They'll all have that happen as well. But if we move Congress, and Congress then, amongst themselves, amongst the several states, act, then we really have action. If we let them do what the heck they want without our, uh, our compelling move in that direction, what do we have? What are we doing for we have You can petition Congress to do the same thing. <laughs> right, that's what petitioning is. Uh, you have the right to petition and address. Uh, and then the signature, the is. signatories on that reams and reams of paper. Or they, hey, all these people want this done. Right. Is, is, the, is doing that going to affect what the Arizona Republic is doing? I guarantee. <laughs> well, that's why I say <laughs> why he's going to do it. Involve them now. If he doesn't, I'm yeah. going to. I mean. <laughs> So we're, so we're all on the same page. Well, I still, I, I still, the issue is just to yeah. really all. Yeah. That's Stony Talk. Yeah. That's Stony, Stony, Stony Talk. <laughs> I, I kind of like to end this. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's comical yet serious, and I don't mean to be offending. Okay? We're all on board with everything that Robert and anybody else, Carla, or any, whatever. We've all suffered the de facto citations and traffic courts and, and so on. We are looking into those things every single day. On the national level, the ID is only, and I want to I put this out as a very simple explanation. That national ID is about as good as the wallpaper on here. 
for the meantime. For the meantime. Bear with me on that. Don't be offensive. Don't, 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 don't take offense to it. Okay? That's as good as that wallpaper. Until you educate and understand yourself and who you are and what the laws are that you're fighting against and what your rights are. Only then will that wallpaper, that ID, mean squat. Eventually, that wallpaper is going to be gold. Eventually. Stay tuned. That's what Congress, that's what your legislators, senators, governors, justice of peace, your national ID people and committee are working on. I ask for your patience. I hear you. We're fighting for it. The motion, plea, begging, we got it. <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's a moot situation. We're there. The one thing that, that Carla and others have mentioned, yeah, do we need to educate? Absolutely. But we need to educate from the standpoint of how to deal with the right here and now. Okay? That goes pretty deep. Just a little excerpt of that. Your secure party creditor? Who's secure party creditor in here? All right? Some of you aren't. Some of you have never heard of it. Okay? Some of you have never practiced law. I'm one of them. I'm learning as, as I go. Okay? I don't, I don't, I don't really want to ever want to. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to go there. My point is be patient. We do need to educate, and we do need to have mock ups. And as people go forth into traffic courts or any other courts, and they get in front of and they present this on a secure party side, or a sovereign side, or a republic side, or just the mere fact of law, there's four different sides that I see. You cannot convolute them. You can't. And so when we talk about this traffic stuff, you got to be very clear. But my point goes this. Everything that's heard tonight is taken to heart. Every one of the legislators that represent you are right on board. And yes, we do need to educate. It's complex. And it's going to need to have a lot of patience. I'm done. There you go. We have a question over here. Just to me, the nation status seems to be quite crucial, and I wondered if you would comment on how, how the process of that, where do you even get it from, and how, and it, what, how realistic is it that we really would get that, and things like that. Are we on point for the motion? Do we have a motion? Yeah, we have a motion on the floor still. Yes, so yes. Discussion. right. We're in discussion right we're, now. We're in discussion on the actual vote. So, yeah. tell you what, let's do this. We're going to go ahead and have the vote, unless there's other discussion pertaining to that. Yeah, that's why I said, unless we have some more. But I want to let you know this. We'll have, I'm going to, I'm going to request I'm going to, in my notes later on, to, if you have questions about any specific thing that you were not able to ask, we're going to try to, we're going to hang around. So yeah, you can ask after. Can, and you can ask questions. You can always ask them right afterwards. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Carla, did you have a... I'm sorry, you, she's already talking. Did you have something about it? Uh, if we're going Discussion. to proceed with the vote, then yes, I do have something to say. Okay. Uh, I have a question in that our, uh, I have a question in the fact that um, is this assembly, uh, do all of the representatives <laughs> represent this assembly? Do they represent all of the state? The reason, the, where I'm going with this is, if we, if we pass this motion, are we possibly excluding others and making them feel left out? No. This, I can answer that. Unless, yeah, no, because all it is is doing what we all want. 
it, it, and as, as Carlos said, as, as uh, um, Robert went blank for a moment, said, they just want to make sure this does not get dropped. So you know, you're, you're, you're going to make us do something or make Brad or whoever uh, make sure it gets done. So that, that's, that's, all, that's all the motion is, correct? Correct. It doesn't, it doesn't stop Coconino County, Yavapai County, any other county having their body politic move one of the representatives for our state to an action. Not at all. My motion is to move our representative, whether it's Brad or one of the others, to act on our behalf. And we are behind it to say, yes, this is what we want. So if Coconino wants to put in some other sort of move for, the, for our representatives to do something, their body is more than uh, able to do that very thing. So it can, it can be independent and there's 10 of them, good heavens. They're supposed to each represent 30,000 people. Carla? you got to run fast, Brad. Any more questions or comments? Okay, Carla. I agree with Stoney 100%. I think that we all think that this little piece of plastic is going to make our lives all better. You know, I think it's very important to understand that we need to not only walk the walk, I think we're willing to walk the walk. I think we've got the guts, I think we've got the courage, but we have to know how to talk the talk or that little piece of plastic isn't going to do us any good. And I know that Brad and the committee's working on that. I know that they're working on it on the national level. What we need to do individually is work on the education part so that when we get the card, we know how to handle a police officer. We know how to handle, you know, when we go to a pharmacy or, you know, Walgreens, we want a prescription. When we go to a bank, we want to open an account. We have to learn that. We have to learn how to talk the talk. So let's work on that. Um, table a discussion. Let the committees keep doing what they're doing. Um, but we do have a motion this second, so uh, so there has to be a vote. Let's vote. So, well, all in favor of of the motion, which is, is to make Brad bring before Congress, National Congress, uh, action on this on these ideas. So to, to, I'm sorry to provide a committee. To, uh, to get going on this. Um, I, I'm messing up the wording because it's been so long. Did you write it down? We, got it. we understand. To develop a local subcommittee. National subcommittee. National subcommittee. Yeah, let's get it from the horse. Carla, read it. They're not doing it. Carla, you read Robert the microphone. Don't do it. Okay, you're going to straighten the horse's mouth. Let Carla read it. My motion is this, that this Maricopa Assembly County move our representative, Brad Bluchek, to submit to Congress a request to develop a subcommittee specifically designed to work through the process of what it takes to have IDs. And so that means they will then work with the cabinet staff, the president's cabinet, and IT and all the pieces needed to make it actually happen. It cannot happen without this step happening. We can't have it in the Republic until it happens because it would be top-down executive type of management. That's not how we run the Republic. So I'm making this motion that we have the fellas go and say we want a subcommittee, our, our county wants a subcommittee in Congress to get moving on this so that we can have it actually happen sometime here in the near future. That's your motion. That's my motion. That it was right. second, oh, correct? Yes. Anybody? He's calling it. Okay. All right. You heard the motion. It's been seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 Can you raise some hands? Yeah, we can yeah, raise hands. Count here and hold them up. This is to, this is to have a committee. Another committee. <laughs> We're getting like the regular government. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big and bloody. Yeah. Twenty-two. I've got twenty-four. <laughs> uh oh. Raise the hands again. Well, just count how many well, people, and you'll know. The people, the people, there, there are some people that are here that, that don't have yeah. any. Cable now there's more hands. <laughs> oh, you don't want to get into that. Well, they're, I mean, they're here. We have newbies. We have newbies that are oh my God. Members of the <laughs> okay. I don't know. And then this is a motion made by the. Uh, 
by the assembly, and anybody can vote in the assembly. Yeah, Monty, that's not correct. Any, anybody can vote. Anybody can vote here. Are you done vote counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Done. Okay. Done. All right. And uh, all opposed? One. Okay. Wow. I don't need exact count. It's, it's not not enough. It's for the re for the record, six. Yeah, just for the record. Any abstentions? Two abstentions. Two, three, three. four abstentions. Four abstentions. Okay. All right. And the motion's carried. Don't we'll get to work, Brad. Now. <laughs> yeah. okay. Just to, wasn't that fun? <laughs> no. No. The, this is important because just as Robert said, I don't want to be. Yeah, I want to hear what you want. I don't want to be dictating all this. I need to know what you want. That's why I asked. Okay. And that doesn't happen anymore. Now, de facto. I don't, I'm, I'm tired of that. I want to know what you guys want. And you're here to communicate. Well, can we get Robert to uh, uh, write out a little paragraph of what, exactly what he'd like to see and then put lines on it? And people that want that, it's called a petition. And then you can carry that petition up there. Well, we just did a motion now. Yeah, we don't need that. We're good. We're good. Appreciate that. That would be redundant. Yeah. Anyway, okay. All right. Thank you, Brad. I, I don't know. There was the other part of the agenda. That, I don't know. Was. Well, that's it. Are you done? I don't know. I think I was just covering the second item. Oh. <laughs> uh, second item. Who's going first? Okay. Next on the agenda is the about the meeting place. And uh, so, yes, everybody quiet down and get back to order and quiet. We have this question on it. Okay, well, we're starting a new subject here. Could he answer my question? Yeah, no, no uh, uh, Lori, he, he did not. Yeah, I, but we will do this right after we because, get through with this. Hey, uh, I'm the moderator. I'll tell you to bring <laughs> Sometimes you introduce people and they forget that they introduce people. <laughs> okay, uh, I believe I, that's what I meant when I said feel free to ask the question afterwards. Brad will be glad to answer any special questions, but but uh, but we want to move on because of time. So, all right, next on the agenda is the meeting place. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know what to say about that except open for discussion about meeting place. Uh, I don't know where to go with this, to be honest with you, Monty. So, do you want to s put a word in, or Steve? Uh, I'll go real quick uh, if you don't mind. Okay, come on up. I, this is sweet. I really don't even need to get up. The point is that we still have access because I, I bowed out of the hotel situation. Uh, with Grace. I didn't want to burn bridges, bridges and she said you have not burned bridges in her email to me. She said we're anxious uh, uh, to hear from you. Let us know how it went. You know, and so where we stand right now moving forward is I, we probably, I probably can get back in the hotel for us uh, and pretty much have the same kind of circumstances of course they would want us to order food that's commerce. That's how they run their business. Here, we don't have to worry about that. Now, here, if things work out with with Steve Furley and his uh, his boss, and things have gone well tonight, and there's no, we have not caused any kind of problems. We are paying uh, a fifty-five dollar fee to have this room cleaned up after we leave. Uh, we paid sixty-five, sixty-five for the other room. They kept going up and down on the numbers and wanted to see food. So the motion is that our, our the, the idea is we can be on the east side or on the west side in the future and however you want to take it from there, sir, please do. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll just make a couple comments, and that is that uh, I counted the seats in here. Uh, one of the reasons, of course, I know 18 needed us out of there, correct? And uh, so we were going to lose the ability to use that. But for quite some time, we've been looking for a place that would, to, to expand. I think I counted uh, about 80, 80 or 90 or 100 and some seats. This will seat 100. Okay, yeah, about 100, 204 actually I counted. 
counting the ones in the back along the wall and these two and this one. So about 100, 203 seats in here. Uh, so I'm so we can't grow a whole lot. In fact, we've had some meetings where we wouldn't be able to seat everybody. Uh, we've had over 130, I think, at one meeting, uh, and several, many over 100. So, uh, you know, I'm not so sure how long this is going to work here. Uh, I just want to make that point. And on a personal note, I didn't like the fact that we're, we here can meet in the place where you can't carry your guns. <laughs> I, just, I totally rebel against that. <laughs> in fact, I sent him an email, I won't be there tonight. I'm not going. I don't shop at Sears because they don't allow you to carry. So. I just don't do this in the places. But I said, hey, the last minute, I'm not going to do that to the people. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give in. But, but I would personally would like a place, even though this is nice. Uh, it doesn't solve our need to, our, 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 our growth place. So and we need to find a place. Not, so I wanted to ask, is the committee that was designed, put together voluntarily to look for a place, are they still looking for something more permanent? Or uh, can you? Do you feel the same or is there somebody that's on it? That would if, if I may, yes. yes. Uh, <coughs> Pastor Coleman, quite honestly, that the time that it took for me to deal with the hotel, et cetera, et cetera, I mean, it was it was an ongoing everyday thing and everything, sure. every day it changed. So I spoke to James Kelder here and asked him if he would take my place as being head of trying to trying to find us a place. And, he, and when you have questions about where are we going to have our next meeting? The questions would actually be addressed to James Kelder over here. He's, he's graciously accepted my uh, invitation and, and would you help me out so that I can get this off of my plate so I can move forward with some other things that I'm involved with. And that's great because I appreciate all that you're, you're doing. You're busy, you got a full place. So that's great. We need more people involved. So, you have any comments, Jim? Uh, just that we, we have not looked any further. I, I don't have it. I've got a few other suggestions, but the research that I've done and the others is most everything over on this side, Scottsdale, is way overpriced, expensive, nothing that we'd want to deal with. And there's very few restaurants that have the facilities that we could go to. Um, the home of Faith might be one up here. Uh, other than that, uh, we'll continue to look but we'll probably end up on the, the west side if, if to keep the, the price down. But it's, it's really limited. It's, uh, it, it is. I've been involved in trying to find meeting places. Yeah, we're a constitution party in the past, and it's, it's difficult. Yeah, so the, you know, we're, we're still looking, but you have to understand it's very limited in what we can get. And, you know, although you're, you, you can't carry your uh, weapon, I mean, how? What better facility could you have than this for me? I mean, this is it. Yeah, and I'd like to make a comment on that factor too. If we are getting, if we are consistently filling this thing to over, over capacity, I think we should be looking at because we need to have more than one meeting. We need to have meetings on the west side, east side. So when we start getting this thing consistently, eighty and ninety people on our people, we need to branch them off, and then grow us back up again in the venue. All right, mate. All right. I, I agree. In fact, I brought that up a long time ago. I talked to Brad about it, and we talked a little bit about it, and, and uh, just nothing has moved because, you know, we there's so much going on. You know, those of us that are representatives, we have a lot on our plates now, too, all of a sudden, because we're doing so many different things. But I, I really wish we could have uh, meetings on the East Valley and West Valley north, south. I mean, you know, west Valley, but how far west? There's folks that would like to come from Goodyear. Uh, Kierna out there, she drives all the way from Buckeye or Goodyear, somewhere out there. That's a long drive. It'd be nice to have something out that area. But the problem is then how do we vote and include everybody? So we have to have some kind of way to do that technologically where people can, uh, can vote all over the valley and they can't meet at the same time. If, if I may, uh, Pastor Coleman, uh, Stonewall back there uh, schooled me on, on these hotels. That was my first encounter really to, with, with, with trying to get the assembly through the front doors of this hotel. It, it was very nice, very convenient, right down the place from street from where we normally were, and, and that part of it worked out the location. 
but Stony School of Me that with the A team and some of the meetings that, that the A team has are the uh, the survey uh, society. Thank you, society. They have meetings at hotels that comp the room, and you can do a buffet in, in a hotel for a twelve ninety five buffet, something that's that's more reasonable to the back pot person. Yeah, for for and, and twenty people is all they're asking for. Is that correct, so? Yeah. Uh, which may have been what he was holding his hand up is that that just because I struck out with this one, I didn't really struck out, but because they kept beating me up, perhaps there's some other avenues we could say or move forward with in order to make the East West thing work for everybody. Well, let's make sure they understand how thankful we are. Yes. 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 And I, my comments were designed at all to be a, a damper on this. In fact, if y'all wanted to meet here, I'd probably at some point give in. <laughs> but it just goes against my nature. Huh? Good see yeah. And by the way, I don't know if, if we could do that, if we could get some kind of a waiver on the condition that things are concealed. Because I know, I go, like, I live on, most of you know, I live on 35th Avenue. There's a, I'll get to you, Art, I won't forget you. Uh, I live on 35th Avenue. And we're not, we're just north of Garcia's, and I've been eating at Garcia's for years. And then all of a sudden I noticed when I had a meeting uh, with some people, scheduled a meeting there, uh, I had, uh, I noticed when I was walking in, they had a sign, sticker, you know, no firearms. I thought, oh man. So I went back to my car, put it in, and I went in there, sat down, I sat there and I was thinking about what happened in Colleen, Texas. How many of you ever heard uh, Susan Grusha right. hop or whatever to give her a test for that? I'm thinking, this is stupid. So I went to the waitress, the head waiter, and I asked for the manager, and I said, look, I've been eating here for years. My family's lived in this area for years, and, uh, and I am real uncomfortable because I always carry for protection. And now because you've got a sticker on that window, I feel vulnerable to someone who doesn't obey the law and wants to just, go, just take body count out before they kill themselves, uh, have a big body count. I feel vulnerable, and you don't have any guards to protect me. So I'm asking, would you allow me did you give me an exception, allow me? Because I've got a meeting here with some people. We're with the Constitution Party. We believe in our rights to keep and bear arms. And, and uh, she says, well, okay, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll let you. So, you know, if, if we can get some kind of waiver, that would be, uh, uh, that'd be great. Then. So, yeah. I'm just throwing that out as an idea. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, Art. I was just, for the sake of time, I'd like to know if we just move on with the agenda so we can have yeah. more time for the questions. Yes, you're, you're right. This is. Um, I, mean, I appreciate all that, but I think that's what we're really here for, too. Right. But we do need to get a meeting going, so I, I, I'm just going to ask with the committee.